Thank you for calling RCI Off-Road. For sales, please dial 1. For order status, please dial 2. If you need technical assistance, dial 3. And for all other... Thank you for calling Technical Support. Please hold for the next available agent. Have you ever started a job supposedly taking 20 to 30 minute tops and then it dragged too long to about two or three hours and maybe even longer? If that ever happened to you, please go ahead and hit that like button or maybe even subscribe. Hi everyone, welcome back to 4 Wheel Drive is Life. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I installed my RCI rear differential skip plate. So about two weeks ago when I off-roaded my Tundra um, I managed to scrape the bottom of my diff right at that drain plug where there's a ring around it and it scratched up pretty good so I decided to purchase a uh, rear diff skid as it's the lowest point of my truck other than the rear shock mount which for the rear shock mount it's very close to the tire, so there's less of a chance for that to get scr uh, scratched up. Prior to start the installation, I was looking on YouTube of how people install their rear differential skip plate, and I don't see a lot of videos about that. So I decided to make a video of um, at least showing how, how I did it. So RCI products, they have their installation guide online, and I use that as a guide. There's only really four to five steps and eight bolts total, um, carriage bolts. However, somehow I managed to take way too, way too long than it's supposed to be. Either it's because I'm not really a handy guy or the instruction was not really clear and it's even obsolete. So I'm going to show you what happened. So first of all, you can see I have put the two upper clamp brackets on top of the axle tube according to step one of the instruction. However, it didn't tell you which side you will need to put the bracket on in relate to those brake line uh, holders that's already on top of the axle. As you can see from the screenshot of this instruction menu, um, it only shows how to put the upper clamp bracket on to the left side of the axle the pumpkin. However, it, there's no picture of the situation to the right side of the pumpkin, which was a little confusing because I really don't know which side of the brake line bracket should I put that upper bracket, um, upper clamp bracket on on the right side of the axle so I really had to try and find out myself. This is the moment I realized that my bracket was in the wrong spot so I had to lose everything down um, reposition the bracket and um, yeah and go from there one thing to note here when you try to insert or slide the bracket into there uh, on top of the axle tube please make sure it does not tug any uh, current existing line that's connecting to the uh, axle because it, you could potentially damage the line uh, if you pull it too hard. Just be careful of that. So finally, I was able to position the brackets in the right spot um, and then securing the um, actual skip plate uh, onto the bracket according to the instruction manual where it says using the one inch long uh, bolt, carriage bolt, which later I had to take all of them out because the instruction manual was obsolete and I'll show you how that happened.
Oh, I forgot to mention before the job, you really need it's really recommended if you remove your spare tire. As you can see, I was able to sit up straight sit uh, sit up right uh, inside of my on, or underneath of my truck uh, in the spare tire location. So after I semi tighten the uh, four bolts that holds the skip plate to the top brackets, I started my step three according to the instruction menu. The instruction manual is calling for a one and eighth inch long bolt uh, on the front uh, to connect the two pieces on top of the or over the pinion uh, joint. However, I couldn't get that one and eighth inch to fit in there because it was it, it's going to rest uh, right onto the pinion uh, housing. Also at that point I realized that I've used up all four shorter carriage bolts um, for the skip plate um, itself to the brackets over the axle and then there are only four longer uh, carriage bolt which is one inch and one eighth uh, long, uh, one, one and one eighth of an inch long uh, carriage bolts left. And that's not what the manual said uh, or the instruction manual said to use and it won't work because they won't fit in there. It's a really tight space between the skip plate and the bottom part of the pinion bracket. After finding out the discrepancy between what gear was supplied to me and what gear was supposed to be supplied to me according to the user manual online, I decided to call their customer service tech support just uh, to make sure if I got the right parts, hardwares. Thank you for calling RCI Off-Road. For sales, please dial 1. For order status, please dial 2. If you need technical assistance, dial 3. And for all other... Thank you for calling technical support. Please hold for the next available agent. A few moments later. So once I get a hold of uh, the customer service technical support team, I was told that there is a slight hardware update uh, upgrade to the parts provided to the customer for the Tundra's rear diff skip plate, where the instruction manual called for six one-inch long carrier bolt, um, carriage bolt and. I believe two short, uh, one and a qu one and an eighth inch long ones. They're actually four shorter ones and four longer ones, and they're all carriage bolts. Um, and they were telling me I'm supposed to use a longer one f to to bolt the uh, skip plate to the brackets on the axle top, and then use the shorter one um, to secure the skip plate to the pinion carrier pinion support bracket and then between the two pieces of the pinion support bracket. Here we are the second day. I was not able to finish the job the first night, um, first day before the night comes. So I started this right away the second day and um, yes the shorter uh, carriage boat actually fits in there uh, very tightly but it fits. Just make sure you have the uh, wrenches in the, in the right angle to tighten it up. I did have to lose all the four bolts on top of the axle uh, top uh, to adjust the angle and have the uh, pinion support bracket um, adjusted to the right spot, which is okay. So lastly, I applied the anti-seize to the thread section where it, the bolts meets the nut so that it does not, it, or it won't get locked up or seized up uh, down the road. So that's it guys, that's how I installed my RCI rear differential skip plate. If you like the video, please consider hit the like button and subscribe.